Welcome to Motorsport Reports. My name is Julia Pique, and today's big news is Porsche announcing it will quit the FIA World Endurance Championships LMP1 division at the end of the current season. It becomes the latest manufacturer to commit to a Formula E entry in 2019. The decision to exit the series follows sister brand Audi's LMP1 exit at the end of the 2016 season, likewise to form a works team in Formula E. Porsche won its record 19th overall victory in the Le Mans 24 hours and its third in a row in 2017, but will not be back to defend that title next year. Porsche joins an impressive list of manufacturers already involved in the series, including fellow German giants Mercedes-Benz, who also recently announced its intentions to enter the championship in the same season, and BMW. Toyota president Toyota said he is sad and disappointed about the news of Porsche's withdrawal from the LMP1 class. Porsche's exit leaves Toyota as the only manufacturer left in the LMP1 class from next season. While the Japanese manufacturer is, in theory, committed to remaining in WEC until the end of the 2019 season, it's understood that it will soon consider its plans for 2018 in light of the series' new situation. In a statement, Toyota expressed his regret at his company losing its main competitor, saying, quote, as a car maker that has been doing such for a very long time, Porsche deserves a great deal of respect. I feel very sad and disappointed that we will no longer be able to pit our technologies against such a company on the same battleground next year. Away from the big Porsche Le Mans story, in Formula One, Daniel Ricciardo set the pace for Friday practice for the Hungarian Grand Prix for Red Bull, ahead of Ferrari Sebastian Vettel. The top Mercedes was Valtteri Bottas in third, and Pascal Wehrlein escaped injury in a big crash that heavily damaged his Sauber. That's it for today's news. I'm Julia Piquet, and see you next time on Motorsport Report.